For this challenge, you'll need a tray, a bowl, water, vegetable oil, dish soap, a pipette, spoon, paper towel, and cotton balls. Don't forget your directions. Remember, don't eat or drink anything in this box. Fill the tray about halfway full of water. And then pour some vegetable oil into your water. Don't use all of it. You've now created an oil spill. Sometimes we know oil spills will happen in natural bodies of water. Now we want you to try different ways to clean up the oil spill. Look at the tools you have. Could you use a cotton ball or a paper towel? How about the spoon or the pipette? How could you clean this oil up? Give some ways a try. Use your spoon and some of the remaining dish soap. Pour your dish soap into your spoon and put it on top of the oil. You should notice that the oil will break into tiny droplets as you do this. Notice that the oil is broken up into tiny droplets and this makes it a lot easier to clean up. The chemistry behind the soap is key. At each end of the soap, it's made of a different molecule. One end hates water, hydrophobic, and the other end loves water, hydrolithic. Now, see if it's easier to clean up with some of your tools. If you see our last direction, it says, do you want an extra challenge? Set a timer and see how much oil is recollected at the end of a given time. Good luck.